Although they've been around for centuries, airships soar into the 21st century with the inflation of the world's largest lighter-than-air vehicle. You're looking at the Bullet 580 airship from eGreen Technologies and 21st century airships. It's two-thirds the length of a football field with unprecedented capabilities for homeland security, disaster relief, advanced communications and navigation, supporting new missions high in the sky to save lives. This massive new airship will be a true multitasker as it ushers in a new age of flight, breaking records and perceptions in the process. It goes beyond the range of satellites, helicopters, and fixed-wing aircraft. Slow enough to be a, a sightseeing capability, uh, large enough to be heavy cargo, and enough volume of lifting capability to be fly at 15, 20,000 feet unmanned. So you have a, a gift of all different technologies. The strategic niche that an airship can fill, a lighter than air airship, is, is the ability to stay on station for long periods of time. To stay in one position or at one altitude for a long period of time, as opposed to a fixed wing aircraft, a rotorcraft, or a satellite, which have, have very short overfly periods of time. The shell of this ship is 10 times stronger than steel, a new type of Kevlar, the same substance used in bulletproof vests. Customers are eager to get on board. When the Bullet 580 flies, it will carry a joint NASA and Old Dominion University payload. I've never seen a vehicle where my, the size of the antennas I want to put on it isn't an issue. And so this, this is really exciting, the idea of being able to essentially put any size antenna you like on this vehicle. Manufacturing these airships will also help create jobs. Our particular area of the world, Alabama, has a high population of skilled textile workers that we've been able to retrain and put to work building this airship and to which we integrate a new generation of fabrics, a new generation of different kinds of payload technologies, cameras, optics, different kinds of sensors. So uh, we believe that we're, we're really making a lot, of, we're going to be able to make a big difference there. The Bullet 580 will operate with a crew. An unmanned version is also being developed. E-Green Technologies gave the 580 unique characteristics. There are seven internal helium envelopes providing lift. The outside envelope provides load bearing, basically support for all the solid structures of the airship, such as engines, payload, and fuel. When it flies, it will have a gross takeoff weight of 11 tons. 5,000 pounds of that will be fuel. It will be environmentally friendly. Its engines will be powered by algae fuel. So safe, you could drink it. It's very true. I've tried it, and it is very true. It's not very tasteful. Garrett Coliseum in Montgomery, Alabama was chosen for this test. With something so big, you need a massive space. And with the 580 filled, it left little room to spare. The Bullet 580 will be flight tested this summer. Expect records to be broken. The future calls for a 326-foot airship, 85 feet in diameter. E-Green Technologies and 21st Century Airships say that they will continue to radically evolve this technology.